Hi everybody and welcome to today's LEGO Technic video. Today I'm excited to talk about some of the new parts available in one of the latest sets, the App Controlled Transformation Vehicle. Now the parts that I got excited about is a couple of new gears that are included in the set. They are these two gears. Now these are the flat version equivalents of the original bevel gears. So we've got the original 20 tooth and the original uh, 12 tooth gear and then of course these are bevel gears and the advantage of bevel gears is that you can either mesh them at 180 degrees or 90 or some angle in between and they can still mesh and drive each other but one of the disadvantages of bevel gears that generally speaking do have more friction uh, one of the reasons is that uh, for example the 20 tooth gear just with the profile when you do mount it for example on a lift arm like this it does tend to rub on that lift arm on that surface uh, there that's next to it and generally speaking to reduce that friction you have to mount it with a bit of a space but even then just the profile of the tooth uh, the teeth relative to the flat gears does generally have more friction so one of the big benefits of course of the like I said of the flat version is that uh, the friction is reduced and so in today's video what I'm going to be doing is measuring the friction difference between using these two gears mesh together so that's the 12 tooth meshing with the 20 versus the original um, bevel tooth versions so if that's something you're interested in please keep watching and find out the difference between the friction of these new gears and the old gears all right so for my experimental setup what i've done is built two kind of gear boxes using the uh, old gears and the new gears and what i've simply done is just got three layers of 12 driving 20 so that is a 3 to 5 3 to 5 and 3 to 5 so the uh, ratio between the input and the output is 27 to 125 which is pretty similar to 1 to 5 it's almost equivalent and again like I said I've got the same version using the uh, new versions of those gears and again so we've got that same ratio and I'm going to drive each of these gear boxes in a crane that I've got behind me to lift a weight and I'm going to measure the uh, friction losses between the input and output of each of these gearboxes. Okay, so just before I do the formal test, I'll just do a quickly uh, an informal test. What I'm going to do is just going to spin this gearbox. This is the original bevel gears. You can kind of hear that it's uh, reasonably kind of crunchy. Uh, it's the uh, gears after I spin them stop fairly quickly. And if I compare that to the new gears, uh, there's quite a big difference. Just the sound of it is quite different. It's much more quiet. It sounds much more smooth. And as well as that, the uh, axle keeps spinning for a little bit longer. So that is the informal measurement. Let's check out the formal measurement. Okay, so for my formal measurement of the um, gearbox efficiency, what I do, I've got this crane here in the background that's going to be lifting a weight. And what I do, I calculate the work done by the motor doing that lifting, which is the uh, work of the motor is the torque on the motor times the angle that it moves. And I compare that to the output work. So that again, that's the output torque by the output angle moved. And from there, I calculate the overall efficiency of that gearbox mechanism, which is simply the output work divided by the input work. If it's 100% efficient, of course, it's a one-to-one, -one, but there's always, like I say, the gearbox friction that we're trying to measure, and that will give us a different efficiency, also depending on the weight that's being lifted. And the way I run the whole experiment is just with a tablet running a powered-up motor. And of course, the great thing about the powered-up app is, uh, is it allows you to measure the angle of the motor very accurately. It's one of the measurements you can do with powered up that, for example, you can't do with power functions. So that is what I use to uh, measure the overall efficiency of each gearbox, and I'll be comparing the two results. So if you want to see the results of that, please keep watching. Okay, so I'll run the first experiment using the original bevel gear gearbox that is mounted at the top there. So that is now the gearbox that is doing the heavy lifting of the crane. And what I'm going to be lifting is different numbers of silver bars. Each silver bar is 10 ounces, which is about 330 grams. And then using the Powered Up app, I'm going to measure the angle that the motor moves uh, in 0.8 of a second. Now, the reason I've used 0.8 of a second is so that I don't run out of room lifting the weight. And then by taking a number of measurements, I can then use the calculation to work out the overall efficiency. So I'll just demonstrate uh, the first experiment just using one silver bar. I push the yellow button and that will run it for 0.8 of a second. So in that time we can see that the uh, motor rotated 1362 degrees. I can then bring it down again and redo the experiment. Now I do do the experiment a number of times simply because each time you do run it you do get a slightly different result. Then we go 1381 and then I'll run that 
five or six times and uh, just average out the result. Now of course what happens if you increase the number uh, of silver bars, the amount of weight on that uh, crane is that of course you're going to get a different uh, amount of lifting because as you lift you're going to get a different amount of friction and it can't lift as quickly um, as a, a lighter weight. So if I rerun that using two bars we can now see that it's uh, about 200 degrees less than just one bar. Uh, and again I can do that a number of times and uh, collate the results. So what I'll show you next is the uh, results of this experiment for each number of bars. Okay so here's the results for the original bevel gears. So what I did I ran the experiment with one silver bar, two silver bars and three silver bars and each of those gave me a different average number of degrees of rotation of the motor and then from that I can calculate the overall efficiency which is shown at the bottom here. Just with one silver bar 73.7%, 2 bars 65 and 3 bars 52. So as you can see here obviously as the number of bars increases the efficiency decreases and that's simply because with higher loading uh, there is a lot more friction in the gears which means more energy loss which means less efficiency. So this, uh, these are the results of the original bevel gears and now we'll do the experiment for the new gears and see how they compare. Okay, so let's run the experiment for the new flat gear versions. I've mounted the gearbox at the top of the crane and I'm going to compare its performance for one silver bar compared to the original bevel gears. So let's run that and see what happens. And look at that, there it goes, 1380. So here is the original um, result, 1380. Oh, that's interesting, it's actually not changed at all. I'll just uh, maybe rerun that experiment. Just uh, see if the second time round it makes a difference. Here we go. And this time 1384, again very, very similar. 1380 to 3084 doesn't seem to make a big difference. This is quite surprising for me. Um, what I'll try next is a different number of silver bars. So this time I will make it two bars instead of one. Of course that will increase the loading and the friction, so let's try that experiment, let's go. Okay, so now we're comparing uh, the second comparison there, 1185, 1171, again very very similar within the bounds of the experimental error. Let's try that again, 1166, again very very similar, um, I'm quite surprised, I will now try three silver bars. Let's see if that makes a difference. So again, upping the weight and increasing the overall friction within the system and gear losses. So let's try that one. You can hear it makes a big difference. 970. So that is a little bit higher than 885, the average I got there. Quite a bit higher in fact. So it looks like it's not until we get to high friction levels that we're going to see a difference. Here we go, 964 compared to 885. So I'll just collate those results and present them to you, but to me initially it does look like that the gear friction difference doesn't really kick in until much higher loads. Alright, so here are the results of the new flat gears compared to the bevel gears. So again, like we saw before, there wasn't actually a big difference between the first two weights. In the case of the bevel gears, um, we were looking at 73% versus the flat gears of 74% probably within experimental error. Same with two bars, 65 versus 63.9. But the big difference was really in the heavier weight, the uh, greater loading. Uh, there was a uh, reasonable difference between the efficiencies. We're going from 52% using the bevel gears to an efficiency of 60% using the flat gears. So not as much of a difference as I thought there would be. I was a little bit surprised, especially uh, for the first two experiments, to see that they were pretty much the same. However, it is good to see that uh, for the heavier loads, uh, there is a significant difference in the uh, gear losses or the efficiency on the friction. So, um, yes, if you do have a heavy load application, the new gears is uh, definitely the way to go. However, if it's just a lightly loaded system, then I really don't see any good reason to, to urgently use them, especially since they're probably not as available as the old bevel gears. Hope you enjoyed this video, got something out of it. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.